Lulu isn't she cute? Pretty happy, <laughs> isn't she? So does she? You, you put her in outfits. Yeah, Do I you mean, ever get the sense she's not comfortable with it. No, and if she was, I would take the outfit off. But honestly, she is so happy. She feels like she's one of us. She's part of the family. I mean, you can't take people trick or treating and not dress them up, right? But you take the so do you take Lulu out on the trip? Oh yeah, that's her walk. Like she got she you know she definitely always wants to be with us. She comes out walking with us. She loves it, and then she looks the part too. Wendy, uh, what do you make of it then? I mean, you see well, Lulu. She seems happy chilling out with a little jumper. Yeah, I, th I think there is quite a big difference between Lulu and the images that we've just seen in the party in New York with those very elaborate costumes. Um, even with Lulu, though, I've got to say that I I think that Lulu would be more beautiful and more attractive in her natural state <laughs> with her gorgeous natural coat. And what do you make of those more extreme ones, Kerry? I mean, Battersea Dogs and Cats Home have, have spoken about this. <laughs> They've pointed out not every dog is comfortable with a lot of handling. Some will become very stressed if you try to put them in a costume, particularly if it involves forcing their legs into sleeves or putting something on their head. And to me, I put this coat on Lulu in the winter because when she gets cut, I mean, she's due one next week, It's she's quite short head and I think in the winter she gets quite cold so I feel like I have a winter coat on so this, this is like her winter coat and I think it's not being cruel to them I'm not I'm not in any way shape or fur, form um kind of hurting her I'm just actually not any way shape or fur her <laughs> exactly her. I mean but, that's the, but there is an interesting point that Kerry makes there and this is what Mike said uh, it's once a year and also it keeps the dog warm there is an element yeah. that uh, that well, actually the... if you see a dog around Christmas with mm. I mean often you get sort of rainproof sort of barber Jackets mm. for dogs and stuff that actually can. We used to have Jack Russells and we had some for them when they got older. Actually, the, the, the sort of the advent of having clothing for animals isn't a new thing. It's just no, a, but the, I, I think there's a difference between a, a sort of medical need and, a, and a, upon sort of veterinary advice the that the, this the, old but dog. But the or dog the doesn't know the difference, does it? If the dog's put something on a practical solution to it being wet or cold. It's very, well, no, no, it's very easy I genuinely to do don't overheat. think she knows. I, yeah, I agree with the mm. overheating. Um, and I think, you know, especially like at the moment, she needs a, a cut. But when she's out and about on a walk on a freezing cold day, I genuinely think she loves wearing something because it does keep her warm. And then I get home and I'll take it off again. So I. I I'm not hurting her. I know I'm not. And if she was ever distressed with it, I would take it off immediately. You know, if I put something on it, actually, <laughs> my kids have some pugsy ears at home. She loves wearing them. Not because she actually puts it in her mouth and flicks them onto her head. So she, she does puts that and the she ears enjoys on herself. that. that but I think she impressive. does it more as like a toy and then suddenly they land on her head. But she doesn't <laughs> seem to mind. She loves it. You've got to be really careful not to treat the animal as your plaything and your mm. doll to be dressed up. Well, Simon says here, however much we humanise our pets, they are still animals and don't necessarily understand or appreciate being dressed up. Let your dog be a dog, oh, Perry. Yes, Let dog. your dog be a she dog. Loves, she her loves coat. being this dog, I tell you. She's very, very <laughs> spoiled. Do you think element of her life. that she thinks that she's actually a bit more human as well, though? Genuinely, she thinks she's one of us. She thinks she's our pack. Like, if any of us are not together, she's... You can tell she's a bit like, oh, where's dad? Where's mum? You know, and I think when she's with us and on the, on um, Halloween, the boys love having a photo with her. And all right, maybe it is an Instagram picture, but it's a cute one. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, yeah. We've, we've You're got. Cute. She loves Lots it. Very cute. We can't <laughs> argue with how. We can't yeah. argue with how. Lots cute. of you have been sending in oh, your is. pictures of your dogs dressed up for Halloween. So let's take a look at some of them. This we can see a dog called Steve who is dressed as a nun. I'm not Apparently. sure Steve looks particularly happy there. Apparently, his owner dresses him up the whole time. You see, I think dogs have this look on their face sometimes where they're just saying, "What are really? you doing?" Another viewer, Emily, says it's absolutely fine to dress your pet up, especially as a. Ghosts, Aww. so round the eyes and through the mouth. <laughs> and we can see Billington de dressed up as a devil dog. They're the sort of there. ears that you're talking about, the Lulu quite <laughs> Don't you feel it? uncomfortable yourself Sometimes, yeah. for those dogs? <laughs> King Charles Cavalier in this time. Uh, this is Willow uh, doing deliveries, UPS <laughs> deliveries. But Dib Dab, a Parson Jack Russell, hates costumes. <laughs> oh, His own Lord. Andy Conley <laughs> says he stands still and looks like what the heck. Have you done to me? I'm not surprised when you put him in a costume <laughs> yeah, like emotionless that. He's with a dinosaur, isn't he? Also, with humiliation. We also have a, a dog that's dressed up <clears throat> as President Donald Trump. Let's take this a look at this. This is Coco. There we go. See, there's a simple oh, costume. You can't argue with that <laughs> one, Wendy, can you? Just a simple little fluff on the top. Actually, it could be Coco's hair. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, you'd have a hard job to distinguish the two there. Do you think dogs feel embarrassment? I mean, we look at the faces <laughs> of some of those dogs and they're kind of like, yeah, really? You know, I think you often look at those photos and you think, I can't actually say that the dog is looking happy. Mm. And I think as well, if, a, if uh, you know, a dog, once he's got the costume on, 
isn't moving and mm -hmm. is sort of, you know, stuck to then the floor. That's, fine. that's telling you something. However, we have to say, Lulu does look <laughs> very content with her pumpkin dress on. She's, She's a beautiful doll. She's ready for Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever. Yeah, Wednesday. Whenever it is. She's ready for it. <laughs>